Okay, here's a story called Out and About with Tom and Pippo. I often take Pippo into the garden. He likes to ride in my wheelbarrow. I take him down the paths and bump him down the steps. Pippo likes to be bumped. When we've had enough, I give him his dinner. Pippo makes a mess when he eats. He gets food all over his face, so I have to wipe him with the flannel. When I hear Mummy calling, I make a little bed for Pippo so he can sleep while I eat my lunch. And after lunch, we want to play. That cat is asleep in my bath, my wheelbarrow. We have to shoo him out. Then I take Pippo round and round the garden until it's time to go in for tea. One day, Mummy took me to a place where you can play in the sandpit and I found a lovely bucket. I was just making a sandcastle with the bucket when this little girl came and tried to take it away from me. She said it was her bucket. The little girl's mummy said we should share our toys, but Pippo is mine. I really wanted to play with that bucket, and Pippo wanted to play with it too, so we all played together in the sandpit. Today, we're going to the sandpit again. I hope that little girl is there with her bucket. Tom and Pippo and the dog. I went for a walk with Mummy and we met a friend with her dog. I was just having a game with Pippo when along came the dog. The dog wanted to play with us, I could tell. I wasn't doing anything. Then suddenly the dog snatched Pippo. My monkey's gone, I shouted. And we all ran after the dog. But he ran very quickly. I thought we would never catch him and Pippo would be gone forever. The lady caught the dog and was cross with him. I was glad to have Pippo back. I think Pippo might have liked being carried off by that dog. Now Tom and Pippo are going out in the snow. One morning it had snowed really hard. Dad bought a sledge. There's the sledge. And said we should take it for a trip up the hill. I took Pippo because he wanted to come. We had never been on a sledge before. We took the sledge up the hill. I thought Pippo would like to have a go first. Dad said there was nothing to be frightened of. But I said it was only fair to let, let Pippo go on the sledge first. I could tell he wanted to. So Daddy brought Pippo to the top of the hill and I waited at the bottom. Daddy said, if Pippo can do it, I'm sure you can too. I said to Daddy, why don't we all go on the sledge? Daddy said that the sledge was really too small. So in the end, I went on the sledge all by myself. Going on a sledge is really very easy. Pippo and I go, on our, go by ourselves all the time. We don't need Daddy. Now Tim and Tom and Pippo are going shopping. Today Mummy and I went shopping. I took Pippo. Pippo likes to go to the shops. I said he would love a little piece of bread, but I ate it. I said Pippo would love a ripe, juicy plum, but I ate it. Pippo wanted just a little piece of cheese from the cheese counter. Mm, but I ate it. We had bought all the shopping and Mummy gave me the money and said I could pay. Mummy had a cup of tea and I had a little drink, but there wasn't enough for Pippo. Anyway, I'll give Pippo some tea when we get home. Now Tom and Pippo are going for a walk. Mummy and I were going for a walk. Mummy said it was very cold outside. It's very cold today. And I must wear my hat and scarf and gloves. Pippo wanted to come to, for a walk too. I made him put on his hat and his scarf and I told him he would catch a cold if he didn't. Mummy held Pippo while I went for a run down the hill. 
Pippo wanted to run with me. Oh, but we fell over. I'm sure Pippo made me run too fast. Mummy put me straight into the bath, but Pippo had to go in the basin. Then Pippo and I sat by the fire and had a warm drink. There we go.